Hello everybody, my name is Andre Money Game Presents and this is the third time I've tried to do this stupid intro because this game takes forever to load. So I'm gonna have to go over what I just said like five minutes ago. So we are going to be starting a new Mountain Blade series. Mountain Blade Gekko Jujo. Gekko Gekko Kujo. There we go. I'm not good with my Japanese. Alright, so, what we, now you might be wondering what happened to our Diplomacy series. Well, basically what happened was I got a new computer and it ended up that I lost all my stuff in that. I don't have any of my files, nothing. So. That series is discontinued. And I know most of you wanted to see more of it because I only got like one. But it is fine. So we're going to go ahead and start begin and we're going to go ahead and begin. Welcome adventurer to Gekko Hujo. Before beginning the game you must create your character. Remember in that the Sengoku era where politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean uh, that you should. Oh, Christ. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character or one who is not of noble birth. Male nobles may have a somewhat easier start, but women and commoners can attain all the same goals and, in fact, may have a much more interesting, if more challenging, early game. Select your character gender. We are, of course, a male. You were born years ago in a land of the rising sun. Your father was a powerless Kuj noble, a G samurai, a traveling merchant, a Nashigira, a hunter or a thief. We were a samurai. You're, you were a child of a minor samurai, samurai family with no claims, real or faked, of descendants from the noble Minamoto or Tyra clans, nor the large ho land holdings or great offices like a rank in the imperial court, but they taught you how to fight with a sword almost before you learned how to walk. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your early life as a. We're, we're going to be a, uh, a craftsman apprentice. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed with the local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work and studying under your new master, he promoted you to a journeyman and employed you as a Felipe craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. Then, as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became an armed retainer in the provinces, a traveling musician. I think we're going to go with an armed retainer. That sounds nice. But this st distinction felt sudden to you. Somewhere along the way, you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. When you were taken under a daimyo's banner, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day be your vassals. But in addition to learning the Bushido ideal, you also learned about the less uplifting side. Old warrior stories about ruthless power politics, of betrayals and usurpations, of men who used guile as well as value to achieve their aims. But soon, everything changed when the Fire Nation I mean, but soon everything changed when and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was personal revenge. Only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. Still, it was not a difficult choice to leave. With the rage burning brightly inside your heart, you want vengeance, you want justice, and what was done to you cannot be undone, and those debts can only be paid in blood. Become an adventurer. We're gonna go ahead and allow me to quit without saving. Now, we do have a ton of strength, but we are gonna need some intelligence, so we're gonna put that up to 9, and put that to 7. God dang it. So, we're gonna put 2 points in Iron Flesh. There is firearms in this, so uh, we do want to use those. So I'm going to put all my points into firearms. DJ is like the most annoying person ever. So, we're going to put a point into that. Two points into that. 
one point into that we're gonna get some looting just so we can have a better a little bit of athletics we have four in riding jesus christ we'll get oh we have two in leadership we'll get uh, we'll put the rest point in persuasion so our name will be akiko uh we need a last name akiko ayamo there we go there is our name akiko ayamo Kiko, I'm pretty sure it's a real Japanese name. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and begin. Now, we gotta find a nice face. Let's see. We want a Japanese looking one. No, I don't like that. We're gonna go with this guy, just cause he's dark. Get my uh, stylish beard going, and we'll have him with that kind of ponytail. We'll make his hair like dark black and we're young. And boom! You hear about Japan, a land torn between the rival daimyo battling each other for supremacy, a haven for samurai and ronin, cutthroats and adventurers all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. And this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe that you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that you finally, you feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands. Free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Japan and this province is you. Wanna to travel to the Kanto region? You arrive in Edo, a Mushi province a Musashi province, a minor castle town on the Kanto plain. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Edo. And you fall asleep quickly. How are you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings? You venture out onto the streets which are still deserted. All of a sudden you hear the rasp that stands the hairs on your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Who that? New phone. Oh. Hold on, before we uh, get started here, I want to change a few things. And I'm going to make you guys watch me do this. So we're going to turn this on. Turn that up. Um, combat speed, I want it to be faster. Uh, the We're going to do that. So you guys can see. Damage to AI. Campaign I. Alright, that's that's good. There. Ooh, alright. So let's let me get back to use to this game. Oh, he was demolished. Wasn't even hard. Actually, we're gonna do more stuff since we now have the uh, actually thing to do it. All right, hold on. I gotta this. I where is the uh? All right, all right. Here's here's what we're gonna do, guys. I'm sorry I'm making you guys watch this, but it's fine. That's going to be E. It's gonna be that because it doesn't work. That's gonna be that. Actually, no, that can stay as F2. Alright, I guess it cannot. Alright, I think. I think. I think we're good. Oh, gee, I didn't realize that. The merchant takes to his house. Once inside, he stands at the door for a while, checking the street, and then finally convinced you have not been followed, comes near you to speak. Taro, merchant of Musashi. Now let me explain my proposition. I tried to live my life while ignoring the samurai. Even in those turbulent times, I figured that if I kept my head down, none of their plots or wars would affect me. I was wrong. They killed my brother. Minimaru. He was a hothead for sure, but maybe he showed disrespect to a haughty la lordling. I don't know what actually happened, but it doesn't matter to me whether he brought it upon himself or not. Nobody should be so exalted that they could kill a brother, son, or father just because they weren't groveled to as they wish. This is no way for the rest of us to live. My older brother, Herberno Horinbo, tried to investigate the murder, but he's disappeared since. I originally fear the worst, but I've just come across a rumor that he's still alive as a captive. So here's what I want you to do. Gather a small party and track down who has taken him. Teach them a lesson and 
they won't forget and get Horinbo home safe in return. You're my great internal gratitude and a large sum of money. I am interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, even though if you take if you try to take on a samurai and his retainer single handedly, you will surely lose your head. You must round up a group of volunteers and form a band. There's always a few boys in the villages around here looking for work. That's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you if you pay. So take this purse of a hundred mon, consider an advance on your reward. Go around to the villages and use the money to hire some help. I reckon that you need at least five men to take on these scoundrels. Very good, sir. I'll go collect some men from these villages. Good. You can find me again in the inn here in Edo. What? In the inn here in Edo. After you've got your group together, then we'll speak about what to do next. Alrighty. Alright. Well. I'm just trying to, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, well that works. It's gonna be hard for me to get used to it. So this is the map. This is, uh, Japan. And so, I think for this series, my goal is going to be to take over the whole entirety of Japan. Which is good. There is diplomacy preferences. So, hold on, let me see. Uh, disable lords returning from exile. Increase AI changes, economy, I don't care. Gekko Zuzha. Disable companion queen. We're gonna do that for this. Now, alright, now let's get to it. We're gonna head up to Kaios. We're gonna recruit them. And then we're gonna go look at our inventory. We have ragged samurai outfit, tattered straw sandals, a rusty wakashi, and a rusty katana. Amazing. I love katanas. Who's this? Kanto Rebels. Surrender or die. I mean, we do need to get these guys leveled up, so that's what we're going to do. I do not have a horse. Alright, uh, I want you guys to follow. Oh, wait. Nope. Follow me. Small sword. Now we're going to stick with our katana for this. Look at me. My face is tan and my hands are white. Ooh, no, do not retreat. I think they have. Oh, they have arrows! Jesus Christ! That whizzed right past my face! Oh, I wasn't expecting them to have bows! I was completely unprepared for this! Sidestep them! Sidestep! I thought I would have a horse as well! But that armor, though! Oh, come on, I cannot lose already! Ow! Oh, these guys are good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, uh. Ah! Uh. Darn it! Retreat. Ah! And I took my Wakazashi! Alright, don't worry guys. I'm, a, I'm skilled in these situations. One on three isn't hard. The lag though. Can you release me? Nah, they ain't, they ain't gonna release me. How far are you taking me? You little coons. You're going in now. I'm prepared to take some cheeks. They stole my sword. I will not accept this. Oops. They killed my soldiers and stole my sword. I mean, yeah, I was foolish for going in with five recruits against guys that are fully armored, but that's not my problem. That is my problem. We're going to do this. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's not happening. That's just going to get me killed. As much as I love to, you know, try to ting, 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 but when it's against multiple enemies, it's not going to work. All right, here comes the arrows. Just got to keep charging. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. These rebels are mine. Ooh, say goodbye, rebel scum. Ooh. All right, come on. Get hopped. Ah. Wow, they didn't even touch me once. And that's what I call demolishment. Ah, ah. And we get some good armor. We got some battered Okiwa retainer armor. A chipped katana. It is better than my current one. Some uh, crude light Shino Sunai. And a battered Jinsagi. My sword. This pole. And with that, we are armored. Easy peasy. They didn't even touch me once. That's really depressing for them. Alright. Now we're going to make our way back up towards Edo. And try to avoid... Oh. Well, I said we were going to try to avoid uh, conflict, but I guess if some looters want to die, I will oblige them. Look how big these spears are. Like, I'm going to stab you in the face, boy. We got my rusty, we got my chipped katana. My rusty, uh, forget what this is. And then my pole. I love my pole. I use my pole every day. Wait, wait, wait. Forget what I just said. Yeah, 10 looters versus me. It's nothing. Oh, this is this works as a lance. Alright. I mean, like, if I was on horseback, it would be good. They've got raw hawks. They don't have... I don't think they're going to be that good. We want prisoners... Ow. Filthy. Peasants. I mean, I'm... I, I think I'm a peasant as well, so... Why are they retreating? They outnumber... Oh! He was taking a flank. Just you and me. Jahaj! Don't break ranks! Done. With only the spear. Aha. Got some prison nuz. Rusty Kama. Chipped Kunai. We'll take these so we can sell them. What is this? Field clothes? Mm. That's what they get. That's what happens when you attack me. I didn't even know where those guys came from, to be honest. They just kind of... Oh! 13 looters. Let's pick up some troops. Though. Head to Kawaguchi. Ooh! Yeah, you know what? That's... Yeah, they're horseback as well. So that would not end up great for us. We'll recruit them all. And then we'll head to Edo. Well... Oh, it's 7v4. Alright, we got this. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. Let's go. Let's go, my Japanese. We're taking lives today. Ah, ha, ha, I don't want to be here. Look at me compared to them. Oh, these poor fools. These guys are equally armored on my level, though. 
So I'll use I'll use my guys as a distraction. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. Oh Christ! Oh, this needs to get off my screen. I don't think. Oh. We did it! And we lost no men as well. Excellent. We just completely swarmed. What is this? Are those gloves? Nice! Got a better helmet. And I don't want those. We're doing good. I leveled up, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in agility. And get more health. Level up our one-handed. And some of our guys leveled up. Three spearmen. Nice. Hojo Spearman. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. I was thinking it was going to be another small band. It's okay, though. We have some leveled up guys with spears. Oh, we got to cross a river. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to follow my guys. There's so many. And I'm half health. If I swear to God, if I get taken out again, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be real bad. Get your red. Oh, floating trees. Amazing. I don't think they'll know who the leader is in our group. Definitely not the guy wearing. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, they just came in in full force. Ow, Jesus Christ. I got so many on me. I'm losing my... Come on, Spearman. I haven't employed you for nothing. Why? I've taken another one. I'm not going down. No, the archer. <sighs> ah! I tried. I took so many of them down. I was literally swinging left and right. I killed 12 guys. They took my Oh, uh, they took my spear. Yes. Free me! You guys got this! I believe in y'all! Oh, they got reinforced. If I can get into this bat, if I- Oh, there's 26? Oh, this is not good, guys. Not good at all. How many guys do they have? And they have prisoners? I'm gonna have to retreat. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and end it there. If you guys enjoyed, leave a comment down below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.